while we Thank are yes <laughs> with brilliant guests from around the world. We've been in Germany, we've been to the USA, we've been to the UK, France, Luxembourg, Cameroon, Germany, all over the world during the time the world is facing an unprecedented crisis. The COVID-19 is keeping us in a lockdown, but we're not locking down our brains. We're traveling around the world and talking to brilliant sons and daughters of our nation and of our world. Today, it's a huge honor for me and my team to welcome someone we don't introduce anymore. I mean, you know him. I don't need to tell you anything about Roland Quemen. And it's a huge <laughs> pleasure right now for me as your host, Miranda Oben, to welcome our guest of today who found time through a very tight schedule to talk to us. Hello and welcome to you, RK. Thank you, thank you, Miranda, for hosting me. Uh, I, I really want to congratulate the amazing job done by the Returnees uh, Initiative. Uh, I have been blessed to be also part of the project. So uh, when you ask me to, 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 to be part, to, to, to have a conversation, uh, with you on the topic of uh, COVID-19 in terms of leadership, motivation, and what are the long-term impact. I, I think it's the conversation I've been having uh, around as go ahead. We have been having it in many platforms, JCI platform, corporate platform, civil society platform, government platform. We have been doing a lot of stuff also with our client. And uh, uh, you, are, you are right to say today, I really found time because we were, uh, we are working so hard on our 
e-learning platform and I had to stop everything to be part of this conversation. So uh, I'm, I'm very, very grateful, I'm happy. And I want again to, to say hello to all our uh, followers. And I really hope that the next uh, hours that we'll spend together is going to be very productive and very successful. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for starting it off that way. So ladies and gentlemen, we refer to Roland Quayman as RK very affectionately. He's been a leader and has led so many young entrepreneurs with the Cameroon Leadership Academy. He's the chairman of Go Ahead Africa. But the person inside of Roland Quayman is what we want to find out. Who is Roland Quayman? How would you describe yourself? Okay, this is a great uh, difficult exercise. You know, speaking about oneself, it's not uh, easy because if you really want to be humble, it becomes quite challenging. But I will present myself uh, uh, as uh, a social entrepreneur. Uh, you know, in 1998, I started uh, a small organization called Adcom in Boya, where we were, uh, we, we were given access to internet and uh, IT to the students. I mean, the university. Right, right. And later on, uh, we, we spread it to school. So it, it's one of the facets that people don't know. I'm, I, I prefer, I'm, I'm, I would like to be remembered as a social entrepreneur. I'm one. I'm also an entrepreneur because Go Ahead Africa is a, is a company. It's, a, it's, right. it's, it's limited. So it's a company. Uh, we have 10 years old uh, as Go Ahead, and we have been doing uh, extremely well uh, before COVID-19. Of and course. After, after we also... We are going to continue doing work. Uh, I'm uh, also very active in terms of uh, civil society movement. Uh, I was very fortunate to be 2010 JCI World President. JCI is a worldwide federation of young leaders and entrepreneurs between the age of 18 to, to 40. The main mission is to help young people to develop mm -hmm. four skills, leadership, entrepreneurship, social responsibility, and also fellowship. We strongly believe that if this target population acquire these four skills, they will be true change agents. Uh, I'm a Catholic Christian. I was also very fortunate to be the national president of the Catholic Men Association in Cameroon. I, I did that uh, for three years, so I'm, I'm very active in the church. I'm also a part of, uh, part of uh, Board of Trustees, the executive committee of the Catholic University Institute of Boya, CUIB, mm -hmm. and in many boards, you know, many boards of organizations. So, uh, I'm married, I'm a father, uh, I'm a husband. <laughs> but out of, out of all these titles, the best title for me is daddy. You know, daddy. I, 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 we are blessed with three children, Patrice William, who is with me right now, and then uh, Princess, uh, who is in uh, Brussels with the mother, and uh, uh, Enzo. So that's it. That's Roland Quinn. I don't know. I hope uh, this, <laughs> today, I, I, today I, I'm, I'm more known as a leadership coach and trainer. And I really hope that is the, the, the cap that we will lose a lot so that uh, we can empower our million. I, I'm sure there are thousands of people connected. I, I had many promises uh, about it. I know the platform, your platform return is, is quite outstanding. Then I also brought, uh, by sharing the fact that I was going to be the, the guest, I think there, there are many people connected all over the world. So I think uh, uh, maybe the, the, the cap that, we are going to use a lot, might be leadership coach and trainer. I don't know. Exactly. Feel free, feel free, feel free. I'm open to, to <laughs> You have so many hats that you wear. So today, yes, we'll focus on your leadership cap and being a trainer as well, because you've trained yeah. so many. You're, you're, you're the patron of the Returnees Project, like you mentioned. But how? what motivated your ascension? How do you, as a Black person in a white dominated international association become the first ever president what motivated you and how did you succeed in getting there no uh, no yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. it's a global organization uh, we are in more than 100 countries and in more than 5000 local communities when we talk about local communities uh, these are JCI because JCI has three level of the organization local it means JCI mm -hmm. we are some of the JCI Paris, JCI London, JCI uh, Tokyo, JCI, I mean, in city. We're in 5,000 mm -hmm. local uh, in city communities. Then you have JCI at the national level. So in more than 100 countries, national organization. Then you have right. the global, the, 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 the world organization. 
No, mm -hmm. I, I joined in 2002 thanks to a, a great guy, Ted Ayon, who is in Boya. At that mm -hmm. time, in 2002, he was the national president of JCI in Cameroon. And he used to come and work in my Cyber Cafe in Moliko. I mean, at right. I mean, so he was coming there and uh, uh, he, 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 he advised me, he, he spoke to me about, uh, he has observed me, uh, my qualities, and all what I'm, I, I'm doing. If I join JCI, I, I think uh, I can even do better. So I was mm -hmm. really, uh, I joined because of him. I mean, he inspired I, I him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he today is my, 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 what I call my god, my godfather. I admire right. a lot. Of people. So uh, after joining Boya Summit, I now uh, became so active, did good, learn a lot, develop uh, a lot of uh, 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 training because JCI has a lot of training uh, uh, topics, uh, facilities for young people. And I right. was really interested in building my capacity, but also in serving my community. After then, uh, I joined the National Board in 2004 as a marketing and communication director, then moved to exec vice president, then was elected uh, national president for 2006. Then uh, everything started, my international career. In 2007, I was international vice president assigned to 10 countries, African countries. Wow. Then that year, something happened because uh, Africa and Middle East, uh, where, it's, where Cameroon is found, had mm -hmm. uh, 30 countries, and we had three vice presidents assigned to each 10, 10 countries. One of right. the vice presidents had professional challenges, and I was asked to help. When I finished my 10 countries, I did seven plus again. And this was a, and that year in 2007, the world president uh, uh, awarded me as the most outstanding uh, JCI vice president. We are vice 17, president. We have 17 vice president, four executive, executive vice president, and one world president. So out one of the 17, yes, I, I was uh, one of the most outstanding uh, vice president. Then that year moved now. Uh, as the president of the African Middle East Development Council for JCI in mm -hmm. African Middle East. In 2009, I was uh, uh, executive vice president assigned right. to African Middle East. Then in 2010, JCI president. Now, how, how did I do? I think it was my passion in, for the organization and also my mm -hmm. passion of serving. Now, I, have, I, I put in my book the impact of when I wrote it. Yes. I never joined when I joined. I never imagined I would become world president of JCI. So I wanted to be very clear. It was not like a plan. It was not mm -hmm. so no. Mm -hmm. because first, I joined too late. In 2002, I'm 31 years old. And JCI is between 18 to 40. So there was clear indication that I will never be JCI president because president. JCI president is between 12, 15, 18 years. Yes. The movement. Yes. But I was just so, but I was really like just serving, learning, helping. Mm -hmm being committed in you know small things and all the rest, but I didn't know that some past world president, they have been observing me. Exactly. You know, uh, when I go to international conferences, I, I, I would do my best to help others, you know, like translating. JCI is mostly English speaking, more than, uh, let me say, 90% English speaking. And now we have had some world president visiting Africa, like Gabon, the conference, and uh, the president was an American. Uh, I, uh, I, 2003 world president, an American, good guy. And I was uh, helping translating. But by translating, you become close to these great leaders and they will keep emailing you, you know, they'll right. have contact with you. They'll be coaching exactly. you, they'll be mentoring you. And that's how uh, one day, I think there was also a great opportunity. We shouldn't forget, in 2008, President Obama was elected as president of the United States. I think the global organization, JCI, also became like, Okay, this is the time. So I think mm -hmm. I, I'm just lucky. I was ready at the right time, and there was the opportunity, and I think I served. So that's what I can say. It, it is a mix of destiny, but also a clear preparation of the young person that I was. Because when the opportunity came, I think I did my best to serve. Yeah, you made sure that whenever the opportunity came, you were ready and you could serve. Now, what are the programs of on the Go Ahead Africa in general? What are the, the different programs that fall under its structures. And how is GAA managing them during this crisis now? Okay, thank you so much. Uh, okay. As I said, Go, uh, Go Ahead Africa is, is a company. We have a, a strong component of leadership training. We have management training. We have CSR, corporate social responsibility trainings. We have also QHSU, 
quality hygiene, safety, and environment training. So those are the, the pillars. Now we have, uh, when uh, in Cameroon, for the past three years, we have been having a crisis in the northwest and southwest of, of my country. So we, our headquarters was in Boya. We had to relocate to Douala. And this had mm -hmm. to be on our strategic growth. So we mm -hmm. created a new product called Impact Talks, which is a, a, a mix between a, a, an after work and a leadership training. A mix. Mm -hmm. So every month, the last Thursday, we bring together between 400 to 500 managers and right. we spend 230 minutes with them. So those are our activities. Now, we have a foundation. We launched our foundation in 2015 because from mm -hmm. since 2000, we created Go Ahead 2010. But in All 2012, right. we started the Camon Lush Academy as part of our CSR initiative. So right. we help and we bring together 1,000 young people, 50, 50, male, female, and we and 100, yes. Yes, for, for, for free. I mean, we empower them, we launch, we help, and we, we groom them, we make them, we make sure that they become even the best of who they are. And also uh, making sure that uh, their vision uh, is well shaped and that they yeah. should bear in mind that they are the master of their destiny. We have been doing that for the past uh, uh, nine years. So far, I think we have 850 uh, young leaders and entrepreneurs. We are also doing it in other countries, Madagascar, uh, 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 Benin, uh, Côte d'Ivoire, then Mali. So right. and this year we have we're planning for Togo. So that is that's the activities of go ahead, the corporate or uh, the business aspect, then the foundation, which is PLF, the Pan African Leadership, Leadership. Leadership Foundation. Foundation. So we okay. in charge of our CSR, our corporate social, our social so responsibility activity, yes, activities. So that now, how are we coping with this crisis? We had to reinvent ourselves. Now, let me be very honest, we we're hit, we we're hit hard. All our trainings were, were more on, on what we call presencial. It was more on face-to-face. -face. We, ha face -face. we have been planning to go digital, but we, we have been so lazy because we're doing so well on the real world. <laughs> we have right. So for the past two years, we have been talking about going uh, digital. Digital. Is, yeah, we have been talking for two years. I mean, you, you advise us, you are bet now. Uh, uh, we were doing extremely well, and we we're like, "Hey, we, we, we keep postponing." We we'll do. Then this crisis came. All our event cancelled. All our trainings cancelled. Uh, some even postponed, but less less than twenty percent postponed. Eighty percent of Cancel. our event from 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 March to June are totally cancelled. Now you should understand that we uh, uh, go ahead. We we, we do. We produce sixty-five percent of our turnover in the first quarter of the year, so that you understand. Because we do a lot of strategic retreat and uh, also kick off of companies, so the the alignment, the plan of action, and the team building, so that they, 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 what they have decided for that for the year, we help them to align it and to to create that cohesion. So we, you will see that sixty percent of our business is between before the four by. By April, we are done, and we have lost all of that. It means that even when things will come in no normal, we have already lost it because company will not go back to plan a year that is ending. So, but what we did was that we didn't want to cry. We said, okay, we have a lot of content. We have more than 40 models that we have. Right. This is the time now with the confinement, with everything shut down, to mm -hmm. now work on our platform, and that's what we have been doing. We have been building a very solid e-learning platform. Give me by June, you'll be amazed by the work. So if we can say any disappointment is a blessing. It's a so blessing. It's not just a bad thing, it's also a good thing. And this is uh, the, because we are in the growth mindset uh, attitude. If we were in the right. fear, I would complain that we have lost a lot of money. We a lot of money. money. I don't want to focus in that aspect. I want to see what is ahead oh, of us. Right.
Right, what you can do out of it. So you said something the other day, you quoted something, or at least I saw it on one of your platforms, that when the fishermen cannot go to sea, they spend the time and use the time to repair their nets. I found that so fascinating. I wanted to share that with the viewers as well. When a fisherman cannot go to sea, they use the time to repair their nets. So that is what we should be doing now, using our time to repair our nets and build new nets, who knows, you know, for more possibilities and so on. Right, but is the, is the uh, Go Ahead Africa is trying to restructure, yes, digitally, which is what I welcome as an IT person. But are you able, since you're on the ground in Cameroon, are you able to help the population in any way possible or what are your plans for the next few weeks to, to also support the system? No, what we have done, uh, and, uh, first the, the Minister of, uh, of, uh, of Cameroon is a very good friend, Malachi. So what, what we did was to send him uh, some of our soft here on, uh, 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 the, the, the model was on uh, self uh, knowledge and mm -hmm. self motivation because we clearly right. understood what was going through. They needed for his staff, so we did that. We sent mm -hmm. free of charge. We also right. all our clients. We send them uh, some of the models on uh, 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 leadership in terms in term and uh, in terms of crisis. We have right. them. Uh, we have decided all our activities are not paid. All our clients, they are not paying. We went far. Even mm -hmm. those who are not our client, we offer them. We we, we, we sent an agreement with like, Business uh, Venkat, which is right. a, a, a business uh, television, African television, mm -hmm. where we give free of charge our content. What I was not doing. So we gave them Okay, your network is stalling a little bit. Um, so far, the network is okay. I see you're coming back, but the network is stalling a bit. I always tell the viewers it's not so easy when we connect with Cameroon, but let's see how it goes on. The network is stalling a little bit. Time. Sorry. No, don't Is worry. It okay it happens. Now? Yes, now it's okay. We're used to it. When we get our guests from Cameroon, we're very patient. We know it could happen. So it's all good. It's all good now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you say you've offered this service, this free of charge. I just have a question coming through from Monica Mesame. Hello, Dr. Roland Quemen. Please, I wish to ask if CLA will hold this 2020 in Cameroon. A question no, from one no. of our viewers. Yeah, it depends if uh, the, 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 the situation is not better. CLA normally is uh, August. Uh, uh, the, the date is August. Now, all depend mm -hmm. if the, the, the situation in terms of coming together because, you know, CLA is 100 participants and 20 facilitators. So we are 120 for one week in, the, in, in our environment. For the moment, it's not possible right. technically. We, we are thinking about going digital also. So using our, the technology to do the CLA. It will, it will not be the same. I, I totally understand. But we need to reinvent ourselves. And this one thing I want to be very clear with uh, our followers. Life will never be the same again. I want it to be very clear. I, I take this, this crisis like September 11. You know, when I watched a movie two days ago with our first son uh, on September 11, and he was, because he's 16 years old now, and he was surprised and said, but daddy, how come this guy, they entered the plane with all those stuff? Because him, he was born in 2004. He started traveling yeah. with me in 2008, uh, 10. He has traveled, and he's traveled with me. But he's the generation now that, uh, you know, with the security <laughs> at the airport, you can't even have a water. Uh, so he's like, daddy, how come these guys enter the plane? I said, my son, before, <laughs> before, before uh, September 11, we were entering the plane with knife with yeah. stuff, with things, and it was not like that. So I say, so life okay. will not be the same again. Maybe client will go totally digital. Maybe, maybe. So uh, we are open, but do, do we have the will to do client? Yes. Are we going to do it? I will say we have the will. Let us see how things, but we are ready. Uh, we, we might do it digital. I don't know. We might be physical if the, the situation health. Is better if WHO and the government recommendation are okay. We will, we, will, we will do it. So let us be assured. Let us apply. I think it is open. Uh, let us go to uh, our platform. Uh, I think it is uh, camelleadership.org and apply. 
Yeah. Okay. Uh, she, she can still uh, go to any of our platform. Go ahead, uh, Africa.net, uh, and we'll, we'll send her the application form. Very good. So, Monica Mesame, that was an answer to your question. Try to go to the platform of the CLA and the Go Ahead Africa and send in your application. And as soon as things get clearer and we know if it's possible, the will is there, so we'll meet. I mean, of course, there could be a digital CLA, but we will meet the part where the people have to show leadership falling off a ladder or walking on fire. So that yes. part, I want to see people yeah, walk on fire, stuff. right? <laughs> so we'll see how it goes. Things will change. We have a question also from Asaba Juliet. Hello, Dr. Kwemen. Who are your key benefactors? OK. Oh, uh, yeah. uh, um, I think uh, the, the first target population is, is young people. We do a lot of activities for young people. We run. Uh, if a, 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 if a youth organization, and I can, people will be surprised. Uh, I, 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 as a person, I, I spend more than 35% of my time just on, on, on voluntary. I'm not paid. People will see True. I'm active I with the RKB, <laughs> active with uh, yes. uh, JCI, IESEC, the church, uh, the women group. Uh, I'm not paid. <laughs> I want it to be very it's free of charge. Free so of charge. going yeah. to the what the leadership academy all over Africa. I'm not paid. Even when I was in France uh, two months ago uh, for the France uh, uh, JCI President Conference, I'm not. Right. So it's it's happening when when everything concerns young people and empowering them. I'm part of that. So the first mm -hmm. then women. I'm also passionate about supporting uh, women. Maybe one of the the reason why I'm very close to Miranda because I'm impressed by her leadership. She's a lady doing amazing things. So uh, I, I, I support, uh, I clearly support that. So I would say the, the main benefit uh, benefactors are youth a lot, more than 90%, then also women organization. So I think, uh, I don't know if I've answered that question. Right. So, Julia, we hope that answers your question. Hope that answers your question. She'll re re uh, probably respond to that soon. She's watching from Douala, so it's a very good question. Now, it's common to hear a lot of people kind of proclaim, I don't want to say self-proclaim, you know, themselves as leaders or coaches. You were given the title because of what you do. What is the difference now between a leader and a coach? No, I think no, I, a leader, I define a leader as anyone. I want it to be very clear. Some are born some become. But those who are born are less than 3%. I mean, they're like journeys. But many become leaders. Now, a leader, leader, a leader is anyone who, one, has influence, two, inspires, three, motivates, four, is at the service of others. So right. leadership is about seven words. You will see it has nothing to do with title, with position. I don't think uh, they call me leader because I was JCI president. It doesn't make me a leader. That That is a title. Or chairman of Go Ahead Africa is a title. But I think the, the, the justification of someone or like I'm calling you Miranda a leader is your accomplishment, the impact that you have in the community, what you have done in terms of building, helping, supporting, serving. So it's not about being famous or being handsome or beautiful. It has nothing. And that's why I define it as anyone. Now, a coach, now it becomes professional. This is a whole, it's, 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 it's like uh, a profession because coaching is helping. In, 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 when I talk about the corporate world that I am, because you have a sport coach, you have a health coach, mm -hmm. I'm talking about leadership <laughs> coach, you help leadership. organization, in my case. We help organization mm -hmm. to become performant. And by right. helping this organization, we help the leadership of the organization to be, to be better leaders in terms of motivating their team, mm -hmm. in terms of having clear objectives, in terms of team cohesion, in, in terms of also excellence, what we call mm -hmm. uh, uh, excellence operational, operational excellence. So that's yeah. what we do. And to do that, in my case, I, has, I have had the opportunity to have a corporate career. At the age of 25, I was country manager of Alpha Fit in Equatorial Guinea. So I've had a, an amazing, I think a successful uh, career in terms of the corporate one. Then I've been very active in the civil society. 
uh, organization. So JCI, church, and all that, it has helped me also to, to build. Then the training field. I have been running trainings for the past 20 years. So the 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 the, the, the mm -hmm. association of my then my educational background also the fact that I I I, I read marketing in the university then also later on read international management. Uh, so you will see that both academic you have to be prepared professionally. <laughs> I'm I'm ready. If I have to talk about the corporate world. It's not in the book. I was I was country manager, so GM. If I have to talk about entrepreneurship, I've been entrepreneurship since entrepreneur since 1998, employing young people, paying taxes, uh, having challenges, failing, having issues, uh, I mean not sleeping, also having successes. So uh, when I talk, it's not a book. I don't read it. I'm talking about based on testimony. The, based on my experience, and when we talk right. about experience, it means failures and success because these are things they work together. Uh, so uh, I don't know if I clearly define make a difference between coaching yes, and leader. Definitely. You can be a leader, right. but you are not a coach because coach is a whole profession. And it, 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 yeah, it, yeah. So that's it. Thank you so much. Thanks for that. But follow up question to that is: Does GA offer leadership or coaching courses, and maybe possibly certification? Do you have leadership courses or? Certification. Yes, yes. We 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 will be going. Uh, our certification program will start in June, so we took all our time, you know. Uh, and I want uh, uh, because we wanted a certific certification program based uh, on sixty five to seventy percent uh, on the African realities because right. there are many uh, good stuff internationally, but that are not adapt mm -hmm. in uh, in the African context. I'm saying this because mm -hmm. I was a global leader. I've been right. president of a global movement, so you have said it. But I have to be honest to you, when I went to Asia, Asia has his, is something specific. When I'm in Europe, very specific. When I'm in US, specific. When I'm in Africa, when I'm in Latin America, I saw it. Even today, I still travel to do training. The way I did the training two months ago in France, it's not the same. I, I use the same topic, but the way I would do it in France will be it's different. It's not the same I would do in uh, Asia. It's not the <laughs> same I would do in USA. It's not the same I would do in Iceland. It's not the same that I would do in Africa. And it, so, so the local content becomes so relevant. And that's where now we are going to be very powerful it's because our certification program will be based on the African tradition, culture, uh, ethnology, sociology and right. many things uh, and yeah so let us be patient our our certification program uh, will, be, will be ready by june but now we run we have been running programs for corporate world they don't need certificate you know the corporate world is result oriented if you are good miranda you are good and now people will say how come i have the big companies in my country in africa because when a client is satisfied he will tell the other guy yeah, look, sure. Coach Roland is good, and now we, yeah, that's uh, what we call uh, uh, bush or hay, you know, uh, mouth to, to well, ear. Yeah, where the very, mouth very, might be, yes. up to the phone, very powerful. Yes. It's, very it's, powerful. It's, 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 that's what we call your reputation. And uh, now we are going, since we are going for massive with the, with the digital world, we need now to prepare certification program and all the rest. But we have been uh, uh, doing the trainings with uh, some certification program, but uh, very specific to companies. Right but now, we are going to do the massive one. So, right. We just so, starting June. June. Let us. June is just in a few months. So oh, it's so around the back. corner. <laughs> yes. All right. That's a very good one. Good to know that there will be certification programs. Now, looking at this lockdown, which is also not easy to keep your mind working straight and focusing. How would you encourage company? What What do you tell companies the way they can remain productive during the lockdown? Looking at companies and looking also at individuals, what would you advise them how to remain productive during this lockdown? Yeah, that that that, that that's really a, a, a good good now. I I I did uh, a presentation yesterday during uh, a, a webinar that I had, uh, and I, I think I've called it five plus five. I have to be honest. Right. As organization, the corporate world, I will advise organization to focus. On their, their their values, mm -hmm. all the organization world they have a vision, they have a mission, and they have values. Core values now yes. before the COVID nineteen, 
you will see that many, some were successful or many were even successful. And the tendency when you are quite successful is to start embracing many things, including even go ahead Africa. I have to be honest to you. But with this crisis now, the first recommendation is to refocus on our core values, core values. on our main activity, what we call it, le cœur de notre métier. That's okay. where now, and that's the first recommendation, focus on that. The, the second will be that it is important for the leadership of those organizations, of each organization, to be at the forefront of the battle. This is not mm -hmm. the time for you to start crying to start uh, complaining, what I've called in the book, the ABC right. syndrome, accusing, blaming, complaining. Look, it will not change anything. So you should instead, at this point, and I've done that as a leader of Go Ahead Africa, my team, they can tell you, I'm at the mm -hmm. forefront. I lead by example. I, right. I, I, I keep telling them, hey, guys, there is an opportunity behind any difficulties. Mm -hmm. There's an opportunity. It means that your speech should be right. a hopeful speech now. It's not no negative speech to the team. I've heard a lot about firing, about this, unless I don't really know. But I don't have those type of conversation with, in my organization. Number three, you need to now listen also to them. That's the error leaders are doing now. They might want to take decision alone. No, have a, what we call brainstorming session with them. You tell them. It can be the, the leadership, the, the executive committee. It can be the management committee for big company. Or go ahead, we are just 12. So we sat, and what do we do? And I listened to them, guys. What do we do? Uh, impact on council, the training council. Oh, how do we do? I Surprisingly, my team, they were very, very productive and very innovative. Some were even crazy. They were smiling, giving me ideas. Everyone. So when we came out from the brainstorming session, we clearly you know, knew where we were going. And we took ownership, each and every member of the team, Took ownership of the decision. It became our collective decision, not my collective. decision, not the GM decision. So, and this by listening, you know. Number three, number four, we should also maintain the same level of discipline and professionalism in our organization. Not because it's lockdown, not because now it's uh, like a home work, tele travel, all that, mm -hmm. that you are at home, uh, uh, you watch television a lot, you just have fun, you eat. No. You must have the same discipline. Getting up early as you are doing, doing your key fit, dress well, you know, uh, for the <laughs> you are up all that. Yeah, and, like you're working. Yes. If not, it becomes you, you work, you work. And if it's time for break, yeah. So you should really, if not, it becomes terrible because idleness is horrible. It's not all about money, it's not all about finances. Let me say they even pay you all the money. I can see right. my staff. We took one of the decisions for our safety for the team. We said, okay, maybe if we meet in the office, we should be, we should not be more than four. Miranda, do you, you will not believe me? There were sometimes some of the staff they want okay, to go the to network the is they have it has no impact on their salary. We have not talked about salary. We can sustain, we can hold <laughs> ourselves for the next three months. We don't have it. I told them the truth. Right, right. But let me, sometimes they want to come. So what we have to do now uh, is to like make the rotation. You come, this day you come. For those who want to come to the office, because we need to keep the social yeah. distances, uh, this of course, is, of course. safety and mm -hmm. all the rest. Mm -hmm. But just to mm -hmm. tell that people don't want to stay, stay home and have their money. Because work is not just about money. It's also about being useful in the community, about being you stood to yourself doing something. <laughs> the last sure. advice uh, that I would give is that we need to also adopt a positive attitude. I mean, in the company, let us be positive about it. Let us, and it's just a matter of growth mindset. Eh? What I'm saying is just a matter of mindset. In this crisis, look now you are running what you are running. Imagine that uh, we didn't have this. Miranda, believe me, it will be difficult to have me. I have to confess. True. It will be difficult. <laughs> True. Because we over we were booked till June. There was no even time to to, to record my e-learning platform. I don't know if you are getting what I'm saying. Sure. Because every busy. week a training was busy. With one of the, with the biggest company, we have signed one thousand. We had to train one thousand staff of Brazil to Cameroon. One thousand mm -hmm. for one year. So uh, tell me, where do I have time to even 
have 30 <laughs> minutes with you. Or, you remember? That's true. You, That's you, true. To, to chat with you five minutes. I, will no say, I hope the lady will not think I don't respect her, but <laughs> just keep running. So no the COVID-19 COVID has also like, hey, Roland, stop. Take a break. Listen to people. <laughs> talk to people. To people that mm -hmm. are dear to your heart. So those are the advices that I can give. Now for individuals, because that was for organization. For organization. I would say isolate yourself from all these news about uh, uh, coronaviruses. Everything we have to know, we know now. Believe me, we know. So I personally, I delete every information on mm -hmm. COVID-19 now. I mean, coming to my WhatsApp. Because we already know. Even television, I choose the type of program I want to watch. To watch. The second is that we should pay, we should stop, stop paying attention on figures uh, in terms of one uh, 10,000 dead in USA, uh, 15 in, uh, 15 in Germany, Italy. It's not like a, a, a soccer Much. or a basketball mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. you are there to check a record. So we should be very, very careful. The other aspect is to avoid yourself sending fatalistic messages. For the past uh, one month, for those who are, uh, I have been sending, you know, uh, uh, last week I lost uh, my one of my strong people, a godfather, Mr. Idem Kojo. He was the former Saint John of uh, OAU and former Prime Minister of Togo. Now, uh, when he, 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 pre he did the preface of my book, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, he, he, uh, he took me like a son. I, I were very close. Now, when he passed away in Paris, I was like, I will not even be able to say goodbye to this guy yes. to go to Rome yes. because we can't travel, the border are closed. I then I also said, okay, huh, which type of tribute I will write to him? Then mm -hmm. I, 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 I spoke with his uh, PA. Then I, I, he told me, Roland, remember the conversation I had with this guy? The, the way he admire you and the way he also respect and admire you. Yes. Even if you want to do a tribute, please, let, let that tribute not... Don't be negative. Don't cry. Don't be bitter. Celebrate him. He went at 82 years old. He has, has accomplished everything. Oh, wow. So... And I wrote the tribute. I, I hope you read the tribute on Edem Kojo. So it was positive. People might say, hey, why are you writing something so positive now? We are tired of negative things. I don't exactly. want you to send me any negative information now. I don't need it. I will delete and I will block you if you do that. Then number four is that our positive mood will help also to develop our human system. We shouldn't, because what will even kill us is not only the COVID-19. Is the answer exactly the fear can kill us because yeah so we need to move on but uh, because what's for me not fear we should replace fear by being careful you know I keep telling let us be careful but not be afraid no we are a human being with amazing capacity created at the image of our creator we have a, a outstanding uh, a, a, a capacity the last but not the least. Let us also maintain discipline, you know, by respecting WHO recommendation, our government recommendation, washing our hands, as we have said, uh, the social distances, uh, wearing our mask, you know, trying to avoid to go out if there's nothing so essential. If we respect all that, and I'm sure also uh, taking care of our inner soul, the, 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 the type of books that we read, you know, I'm reading read. uh, this good book of uh, uh, Cardinal uh, uh, Cardinal Robert Sarah and he called Jack La Force du Silence, the power of okay. silence. You know, it's so great. You know, people, this is the time to meditate, to pray, and this is the time. And uh, I think uh, those are the sum of advices in terms of organization and in terms of individuals that I can give to, uh, to, 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 to overcome the, 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 the obstacle that we have now. Thank you so much. So you've mentioned reading books. And of course, I know you listen to Cameroonian music a lot. You mentioned keeping the mind healthy and we have to sleep also daily and rest. I know this time is good for someone like you to rest. So I have a very interesting question coming in from London. Dr. Quayman, with such a busy schedule, how do you manage your home front? Where do you find time to raise your children and be the great husband? You know, I we already hear that a lot about you from your wife as well. So where do you find time to be that great dad, great husband and do all this for the world now i have to be honest i have been blessed to have an amazing wife <laughs> so please to her all the credit you know <laughs> you know to her all the credit uh my daughter princess diana keeps saying daddy uh you you can you cannot be my husband <laughs> because you know she's so possessive and jealous like that is always going then my wife will say 
thank God he is not your husband. He's my <laughs> husband, and I like him like that. I love him like that. So I think, uh, and this is something where you 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 are getting engaged in in a in a partnership mm -hmm. uh, when you want to get married. And I'm mm -hmm. talking now for those who are not married. It's very very important to 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 be very very careful in the choice of the partner mm -hmm. because now uh, uh, my my wife from day one knew that i was a person that always want to help others i have been very involved in social entrepreneurship mm -hmm. you know association church activities it's not about jci i've been doing that before jci that's why i keep saying uh, uh, at internet services here, yeah, support here, yeah, conference, I've been doing. And my wife uh, knew that this guy is like that. So he got married to all that. <laughs> it's a package. <laughs> it's a whole and package that comes part, with it. Became part of the support system. Knew very well that she would take care of the kid, and she did so well. So far, uh, if we talk, William, the foundation is good. Uh, Diana, the foundation is good, and so because of the mother, I think, and 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 I, I will not take all the whole day to thank my wife. So she has been <laughs> be this, the great supporting me myself, you know, helping me even when I will get this call. You know, you can do that, you can do this, you can just yeah, just keep now. Uh, so yeah, she has of had children also quite encouraging. The mm -hmm. children also, I think uh, I am like a role model to them. It's not mm -hmm. the, they, they, they like me, they, 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 they don't hide it, they, they say it to me. They say it, they say it. They support That's me true. also. So I think I've been very blessed to also have outstanding staff. Now, when you recruit, and I, my, my role model is Jesus Christ. Because how can you explain that 2,000 years, Christianism is amazing, it's the big, biggest brand on world, in the world, more than two billion uh, uh, followers, mm -hmm. you know, all that. Because the recruitment, you know, the way you recruited the 12. Yes. So even when you are recruiting your staff, I make sure that I, I, I bring uh, around me young people that are far better than me. Mm -hmm. I have mm -hmm. to be honest. Mm -hmm. And they are listening to me. They know I keep telling them. <laughs> they are great. Um, I have, I mean, Miranda, you know, with my team. How competent the they are. Yes. They yes. are extremely competent. That's a team so, you don't find anywhere else. Yes. Yeah, so <laughs> what do you want me to ask to the Almighty? So I make <laughs> sure that people I bring around me are outstanding. So but, but the errors we do as leaders is to be take, you take people that are not good, that are not competent, that are lazy, that are, don't share your values, that are the family members, and you bring around you, and then later you start to cry, oh my God, you will not be successful. So professionally, I have a good team. I always take the best. I look for the best. Then that's it. That's how I'm organized. So then you I have the best I, I hope. Oh, Goretti, I hope that answers your question, right? So that is how you're organized. You've got the best. I mean, I have met your wife, so I can just confirm that, yes, an amazing wife supporting you privately and professionally. Your children, they say it to you. Princess tells you how much she loves you and all that. That's a lot of encouragement and support also. And then you have a lot of people watching you now and who will watch again later following this video. So again, one of the things which you need for success is that family around you and that great team also around you. So I actually commend you for... We emulate what you do because people were always like, you cannot find this kind of people in Cameroon. You cannot find this kind of people in Cameroon. And we coming from the diaspora always thought, what kind of people are in Cameroon then? These are the same brothers and sisters of ours we left there. So you cannot say all these negative things until my team met your team and we see the collaboration and the work, which is seamless. That's when we understood that if you groom people and you're that amazing leader, I'm just looking at a picture yet here of the Cameroon Leadership Academy with everybody coming together like this. Every year you have such amazing people around you because you attract who you are as well. So the compliments you've given to your team and your family and all that is because of the personality. I would say very clearly, which you have, you know, the uniqueness in which you go around. My team member, Goretti, who asked the question, she actually is in London. And after she had the conversation with you in Cameroon, she's not been the same after that. You know, she's We're not in the same flight. We travel together, I think. Yes, we travel together. 
I think, I think. Yes, uh, I think from Douala to Yaoundé, from Douala to Yaoundé on the flight. No, but... from uh, from Brussels to. Oh really? Yes. Okay. It's just in London, right? Yes, yes she from is. Brussels, from Brussels to Douala. Oh, great, 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 great. Yes. That's amazing. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. That's amazing. Okay, so you have my team confirming all of what we've said because they have met in you a personality of leadership, which we had never seen in Cameroon until we met you. So that leadership, which my team started working with, because the diaspora has their issues. They say things about yep. Cameroon, yep. just like Cameroon yep. says things about the diaspora. When they said we couldn't find that kind of team and we met you, we were like, excuse me, look at the Cameroon Leadership Academy. Look at Go Ahead Africa. These are the platforms we want to work with. Now we have a comment also here from Memaris Mashia. Yes. That is great. She says, Monsieur Roland Quemen, à travers Go Ahead Africa, et son équipe dynamique au service de l'Afrique et même du monde sera... Euh, sera, sera, euh, sera se réinventer. Le digital sera indéniablement un atout majeur. Indéniablement, my goodness. Indéniably, un atout yes. majeur. Yes. The digital age will really be good. Thank you for that comment. That was a really tongue twister there for me to Coucou, pronounce. Coucou à mes maris. Uh, yes, I, I know her. She's a good All friend right. working with uh, the group Castel. She's one That's of great. Uh, we, we, yeah, one of our strong... Uh, uh, mm -hmm. participant in our leadership training. Kuku, right. an amazing lady, by the way. <laughs> All right, I'll be, I would like to meet her. Maybe in December we can invite her on the 18th when you of come December. To Cameroon, an amazing lady. I think okay. her book is coming out uh, very soon. Mm -hmm. I, I'm, mm -hmm. I'm not like, je ne trahis pas un secret. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, mm -hmm. amazing lady. I really, I was right. impressed uh, by who she is. And That's good. Fantastic. Miranda, she's your sister. You will look oh. alike. Oh, okay. Memories, she's, I have she's to meet tall, you in she's, December. She's tall like you. She's tall like you. <laughs> then I definitely should meet her in December. You know, we're putting up uh, an author's corner. Books in December, all Cameroonian authors. So she's invited to bring her book also. So we're bringing a corner at the returnees event on the 18th of December. Authors have their corner where we have books and books and books. So Memories, you're invited to join us in December. And also a shout out to Alice Michelle, Ange, uh, Michelle Ange Penka, Perrin Cuenca. You see your people, my team knows your team. Yeah. People know your team, yeah. you know, very popular yeah. there. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, we also have thank you from Jean Calvin Griffo, who is really enjoying the discussion. And uh, that, he's my classmate. He's my classmate. Yeah. Great, great, great. So he's sending merci pour ce partage, Rich, and we're still going on. We just have one other thing because at the moment, although you're not laying off, after the global crisis, companies are suffering an economic recession. So they have to make decisions which are not that favorable. So how can a leader still keep on motivating his collaborators while taking all these, you know, economically viable decisions for the company? Just no, to uh, yeah. I think, uh, mo yeah, motivating the team, is, I, I agree with you, uh, mm -hmm. is going to, first, it's, 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 it's about the leader. Now, let me be very honest. We, we are going through a tough moment, and the world needs now impactful or transformational leadership now. This is the moment of leadership. If there's something we need dearly, it's leadership, mm -hmm. I'm sorry. It's not now, you know, before people mm -hmm. were, things were okay, we're dancing, eating, drinking, about just privilege, about the advantage. This is the time to work. This is the time mm -hmm. to think. This is the time to justify our, our position and function. Now, mm -hmm. the, the first aspect in terms of motivating the team is to know yourself. So uh, many people will discover now who they are. Who are you? That's the question. In the impact of season two, the, the first one we did in February, it was mm -hmm. on uh, uh, how to discover the vision of, of, of your life. And right. I, I asked this question. Sometimes we have what we call the inventory personnel, the personal inventory. Inventory. We have to do okay. it. The people don't do it. So I, I will not take a lot of time to develop, but number one is the leader now at this point should know himself. The right. number two is that the leader should develop a lot of charisma now. <laughs> this is the time we need to, the times are tough. So we need tough people. Right. <laughs> the charisma. We need to, people that are suffering or indecision, that are weak, that are, are lazy, that are 
I mean, this is not the time. It, it will right. clearly show up. Your leadership will show now. Mm -hmm. So you need to develop uh, that charisma. Number three, you also uh, need to work on the listening. You need to listen to your collaborators. Right. It's not about dictatorship now. Finish. Uh, if you want to motivate the team, please listen to them. What are their expectations? What are their fears? What are their worries? How are they perceiving the situation? Right. Mm -hmm. How are they seeing the future? Listen to them. Don't only sit and carry all alone. Number five, four, is that we need to be patient. Mm -hmm. If there's one thing, you know, I told about this book I'm reading. I, mm -hmm. I have the book. I, I've read it. I, I'm just reading it again. The Power of Silence. You know, there are certain things we can do. There are certain mm -hmm. we cannot do. I mean, we can't do anything on them. And there's one thing now. We need to be patient. The lockdown was first one, uh, 15 days, mm -hmm. 30. More. We don't know when. It, so imagine you are not patient. It's like uh, my mother kept uh, advising us. It's, it's an Af African uh, uh, wisdom. Mm -hmm. You know, if you are if you were uh, hurry too much, you might have to get married to a lady that is already pregnant. Something if you want to tell, so what she was trying to tell us, pregnancy is nine months. <laughs> so it takes nine months to have a baby. <laughs> you might have all the money in the world. You can have nine women, but you not have a child in one month. I don't mm -hmm. know if you are getting me. I get, so I get. let us also allow nature to take, take the time. time. Yes, so we need to be patient. I will also say we need to accept. We need to accept failure. Failure is part of experience. I keep saying failure and success are twin. So let us also acknowledge our weaknesses, our failure, our vulnerability. Mm -hmm. We are human beings, we are not God. Uh, I think in terms of advice also I can say, you get to know better your collaborators. This is the time to sit now and reflect who is who. Who is Miranda? Mm -hmm. Who is Elise? Who is Alice? Who are they? Do you really know your team members? This is time in terms of weakness and strength so that you know how to manage and use them. Now, let me give you a small job. In When we are doing our recording, because we have transformed our office in, in like recording studio. You can't recognize it, <laughs> transform it. Yes. Now, my PA, Joyce, she's a very amazing cook. She's very good in Aero and Okombo. For the world, they might not understand. Kimonia will understand. It's an amazing vegetable. And Aero is the national, one of the national meat in my country. Now. Yeah, true. Now, she knew very well that we are four in the office and we are passionate. We are, we are recording. Mm -hmm. We don't even have time to eat because to now eat. even for safety, we can't just go and eat in you know, you know the situation. Sure. So she prepared food and bring to us. And yes, because she's like, okay, boss, what can I do? I'm like, don't mind. We're okay. Mm -hmm. And she brought food. She had done that twice. And now we're like, where is the food? You know, you food. <laughs> Look, can you imagine her contribution? The, the, her, yes. her arrow, what she can do when I'm eating that arrow, the type of inspiration and the camera, <laughs> the team, and the, 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 the labo, the coming out with the, we, we produce more uh, uh, training models. So, what I'm trying <laughs> to say, we should know our teammate. If I, I said, oh, now it's digital, it's not good in digital, you'll be sacked. Who is going to bring me the dance hero and the, the Oko Ombo? Oko Ombo. That, I don't know if you are getting so. I get, I get. Everyone is essential at this crucial moment. And by the fact of telling her that we need that food and that we appreciate that food, you don't know the smile she had. And she knows that she's part of the team. It's not like, okay. Hmm. No, she can't do anything because now it's top digital, it's the IT team, it's the camera team, is is the GM, is the, the founder. No. We did the driver is happy. The guy will drive me. I went there. 
I said, okay, you know now, about you need to put your mask. You need to, you know, be careful. About you know, even home where you are, respect this, you know. And this part right. of he could have been staying in the house. Like I told him, for two, three days, you might not work, just be. But the guy will still call. He wants to work. As I, I was telling you, because it's not <laughs> just no. Uh, the, the 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 number eight is that you have to know how to formulate even criticism. Because the leaders are the boss. You, you, you have invested money, which is true. And with this situation, you are the number one loser. You are the number true. one winner when you were income. So even when you have to be hard on them, you need to know how to speak to them. And number nine, you need also to sharpen your sense of observation. This is the time to be silent. I will keep showing this book. This is the, the time power to, of silence. to meditate. To, to, to connect with your creator. That inner voice, that inner voice, this is the time. And last but not the least, you need to also encourage individual initiative, your team. Tell them, hey guys, what do you want to do? What you can do? Tell them and allow them, uh, support them in that initiative. That's how now you will motivate the team and they will be part, they will buy in the vision and it will become a share and common vision for your organization. And together, you guys will go as far. You know, the African proverb say, alone you go fast, and together we'll go far. The ultimate goal Faster. in life is to go far. That's good. Thank you so much. Thanks from people watching as well. Comments here. Greetings from Crystal in Douala. Hello, patron. Very happy to be watching you all over the world, including Crystal. We have a question from Elysee. Pretty much what you've said, but structured differently. Senator, quelles idées innovatrices penses-tu appliquer après la crise pour recréer ce lien de confiance entre membres des mêmes équipes en entreprise pour des résultats toujours aussi remarquables? Mais, comme, euh, merci, euh, Élisée, pour, pour, pour la question. Euh, déjà, euh, j'ai expliqué en anglais, euh, ça sera le même principe de, de, de la dynamique du groupe. Le premier principe de la dynamique du groupe, c'est que il faudrait que les objectifs soient clairs pour l'organisation. Donc, pour le groupe, pour ton groupe, il faut... Quels, quels sont les objectifs que tu fixes au groupe En deux, quelles sont les attentes des membres du groupe par rapport au leader que tu es Et par rapport aux membres entre eux, quelles sont les attentes Il faut que les attentes soient claires, clairement formulées. Euh, autre élément qui est assez essentiel dans la dynamique du groupe, c'est que il faut rapidement euh, avoir un plan d'action. C'est-à-dire, quand on sort de là, quel est le plan d'action à court terme, à moyen terme et à long terme Beaucoup d'organisations, en début d'année, avaient déjà ce plan. Maintenant, la crise est arrivée, il faut réajuster. C'est comme l'avion. J'aime toujours expliquer à mes collaborateurs ou bien à mes clients que j'accompagne. Quand tu prends un vol, prenons euh, Douala, euh, 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 Bruxelles que je prends assez régulièrement. Mm -hmm. Et est-ce qu'on appelle le plan de vol Le pilote, il a un plan de vol. Mais il peut arriver, et la plupart du temps, ça arrive, que lors du déploiement de son vol, qu'il y ait des intempéries et qu'il doit changer la direction, il va changer le plan de vol. Mais il n'oublie pas la destination. Donc, actuellement, cette crise, on va changer notre plan de vol. Mais n'oublions pas notre destination. destination. C'est ça l'essentiel. C'est pour ça que les objectifs, on peut les revoir, on peut les réajuster, on peut les réorienter, mais n'oublions pas la finalité. Et c'est de remotiver et remobiliser rapidement les troupes. Et de dire, le confinement ne veut pas dire arrêt des activités, la preuve. Nous sommes en train d'avoir une session, une web, une web conférence. Le monde entier est en train de suivre. Les gens sont en train de prendre des notes. Miranda et l'équipe a préparé. Elle m'avait dit bien avant, je pense, ça fait peut-être dix jours que j'ai donné mon, mon OK quand j'ai regardé mon calendrier. Je lui disais, OK, aujourd'hui, elle, elle aurait souhaité, je pense qu'on avait choisi un autre jour, mais on, on, finalement, on a oui. trouvé aujourd'hui. Mm -hmm. J'ai arrêté mes activités une heure avant parce que je devais, nous sommes en plein enregistrement. Euh, des modules par rapport à la plateforme e-learning, le testing et tout, nous sommes en plein, mais voilà. Donc, pour dire que, pas parce qu'on euh, est en confinement, que le monde s'arrête.
que l'entreprise, que les organisations. Le cerveau doit continuer, même quand on dort. Hein, les scientifiques nous disent le cerveau, il tourne, il tourne, il tourne. Donc, euh, voilà les quelques pistes que je peux voilà, suggérer. Et, 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 et voilà, à la fin, on aura des résultats remarquables. Euh, C'est dès qu'une transition, euh, les, euh, la période qu'on qu vit, euh, la vie reviendra à la normale. Mais peut-être, sûrement, j'ai disais à Miranda au début, les choses ne seront plus comme avant, ça c'est clair. Mais les choses vont repartir. Et quand ça va repartir, malheur à ceux qui ont arrêté la montre quand ça s'est arrêté. Bah, la montre continue à tourner. Si toi, tu as arrêté de réfléchir, tu as arrêté, alors tu auras... Voilà, la montre tourne. Donc, <rire> et quand le monde, dans 4, 5, 6 mois, va reprendre, ça ne va pas reprendre là où ça s'est arrêté. Hein. Mm -hmm. Ça va continuer. Donc, euh, voilà, euh, il faut continuer à travailler, peut-être en, euh, en soudine, en, dans le calme, il faut. Et puis, voilà. Donc, euh, Super. voilà ce que je peux dire, Olivier. Et c'est ce que, d'ailleurs, les retenues, vous faites. Hein. Je vous ai tellement dynamique. Euh, <rire> Miranda continue à parler des événements de décembre. Pourquoi elle ne dit pas qu'il n'y aura pas Elle, parce qu'elle est positive. Elle, 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 elle a l'espoir que d'ici là, les choses vont s'améliorer, parce que l'homme vit d'espoir. Vous savez, on peut vivre 40 jours sans manger et on ne va pas mourir. Jésus l'a fait, les hommes le font, ils jeûnent. On peut même, aujourd'hui, je pense que le record, c'est une vingtaine de minutes, hein, être dans l'eau, ne pas respirer, ne pas mourir. Mais on ne peut pas vivre une seconde sans espoir. S'il n'y a plus espoir, c'est la fin. L'espoir de pilier de l de, du monde. Donc, il faut avoir espoir, mais pour cela, il ne faut pas seulement rêver, mais il faut travailler et se donner les moyens de sa politique. Donc, voilà ma réponse, Élisée. Super, merci, merci, Arke. Et on a une autre question venant de Alice Michel depuis l'Italie. Monsieur Quemen, OK, Mr. Quemen, this is English now. Will the QHSE forum take place this year? And where can we get more information about the forum? Now, uh, the, 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 uh, the QHSE forum is uh, a, a national forum that we organize in partnership with the Catholic University of Lyon. We have been doing it for the past five years. I mean, this year uh, was normally uh, the fifth edition. Uh, we always do it first week of May in Jicam. Now, I have to be honest, we can't do it uh, uh, in May again. We can't do it because uh, by, by May, the situation uh, will still be locked down. We can't travel because we had five experts coming from France. Uh, Cali University of Lyon and Cali University of Paris. And with national experts, we were bringing together 100 uh, uh, managers of QHSE in companies. Now, what we are going to, we had a, 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 a Zoom uh, yesterday. Uh, we came with some strong recommendation. We might postpone the date. That's a plan A. Postpone the date to see maybe Let us say July, August, we are still, because we need to, to we are also observing when the, the lockdown will over so that yes. people can travel. But we are also thinking about the digital. So we can still have the digital solution. And I, I will now see with the expert of uh, Lyon and Paris to come to a decision. So, but uh, the... The, the, the tax, uh, the organizing committee that is uh, led by Alice, uh, we have been working, we are ready. The content of the program ready, uh, the, the expert ready, uh, but the physical uh, conference, the date postponed, not cancel, postponed. Uh, if the confinement continues, even again two, three months, what do we do? I think definitely we'll go digital, but I am for, And I told them that I will not decide. I would really want still to have the physical one because it was really the fifth edition where we had a lot of innovation that we have planned. So let us be patient and give ourselves again one month to observe the way things are going. Uh, if things are going towards a better direction in terms of the lockdown, we might do it probably... Uh, Uh, let me say August or September, but if it continues, they will have to take a decision to have it uh, in the uh, platform, Zoom and other platforms. So that's what I can say. 
uh, please, the event is not canceled, it's just postponed because QHSE is very crucial for African companies. Okay, so it's not canceled, it's just postponed. More information will be updated, more like on a monthly basis, seeing also how things are evolving, we cannot tell. Thank you for that question, Alice Michelle. But something I've always wanted to do, after reading your book, there is something which never leaves my mind, which I would love you to share with the viewers. RK, what are the five barometers of success? Oh, you like it. The that five barometers. Never me. I've quoted it so many times. I want it to be on camera and from you today. <laughs> Okay, now the, the, the five barometers is something based on the my experience traveling and meeting world leaders. I mean, from mm -hmm. the corporate world, from the government, and from the civil society. So I, I try observing them, exchanging with them, having some conversations, some deep conversations. And from there, I came out with these barometers. The first barometer is our career. Uh, we should be very, very practical, and we should take our career very, very seriously because that's what brings income so that we can take care of the other parameters. Okay. But the first one is the career. The choice of the career for young people, when I'm speaking out to a, 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 a youth audience, I will mm -hmm. say, okay, please, try to do what passionate, what is your passion? Because you have young people in the university reading what they don't want to read. Maybe the parent told them, you have to be a lawyer, you have to be a medical doctor, you have to be an engineer. So they are like in the university, and I have many cases of young people that were there, but I plead with them, I said, please do it for your parents. Finish your university, have that degree. But later on, when you are in the university, follow your passion. Some right. is art and culture. Some is communication, digital, you know. You see someone reading like chemistry, but is passionate about digital. You can still do the chemistry and do uh, your master's degree for your parents and right. for yourself. Then later on, the while you are going and pursuing your studies, mm -hmm. always have extra university or extra uh, scholar activities. That's where, because leadership and all those soft skills are learning by doing activities. So the career, that's number one. We have to be very, very uh, hard on that by doing what we love. And mm -hmm. if we are not doing what we love, let us love what we are doing. So love is at the center. That's career. That's the first barometer. The second barometer is a family. Right. You know, uh, you had one of uh, our friends who asked the question, how do I do to have a balanced life <laughs> between my family and business? And I all said the support system of my wife and my family now. Family is gold. Let us be very honest. Family is gold. And family is a, a true source of motivation and inspiration right. for many people. It can also be a source of stress. If you are wed, your marriage is not going well, mm -hmm. if your children uh, are doing what you don't want in terms of, uh, especially when they are adolescent, we all know the crisis that can happen. Or if they have orientation, that is not part of. So it can be a source of stress. But I'm using the barometer to say, Family should be a source of motivation. Right. Because family is gold. And I know what I'm talking. When I talk about <laughs> my parents, my father, my hero, my mother, and I will conclude when you give me the opportunity to make my final speech, you will see it will be centered around my mother. So family is gold. Number three, the third barometer, the friends. Who are your friends? You know, friendship never ends. Friends are, are good friends are more than even brothers. And I can say it when I talk about Ted Aeon, I talk about uh, my, the, my my childhood friend who is the witness of my of my wedding, Prince Lambert. I will talk about George Moffat. I'm just citing friends. Uh, I will talk about some of my clans that have become friends. If I talk about the, the gem of Total Nigeria, uh, Imran Bari, it's, 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 it's more than or Mr. John and country, big brothers. They're not even, so these are people that even took upon them to like pay visit to my, my daughter who was sick. Miranda is a friend. I remember <laughs> he drove from Germany to Belgium to visit my daughter who is sick. So that's, that's friendship, how powerful it is. 
And it's a strong barometer of success. And some people tell me they don't have friends. When you tell me you don't have friends, you mean you're a selfish person. Because what I didn't say, someone who does not have friends because you don't want to give. Friendship is about giving, it's about helping, it's about supporting. Because I support Miranda, because I support all the people have also said, one or two things I did for them, they also like try, not like pay me back, they support me. So when you see someone tells you I don't, I don't have a friend, it means that he's not friendly. So friendship, and I, I, I keep saying, we also represent averagely who our friends are. If our friends are adept of positive thinking, they, they will draw us and they will help us towards that direction. If they are negative, if they keep accusing, blaming and complaining, you will also become like that. You will blackmail, insult your people, insult your community, curse your parents, curse your country, curse the humanity. You know, they all depend. All these people have, have, have cited. When we have conversation, it's only positive. Not that we don't have issues. Not that we don't have our own problems. But the way we talk about it is always towards solution. Uh, solution. Uh, we are more solution providers. The other barometer is our community involvement, what I've called our individual social responsibility. You know, President Kerry, who was one of our outstanding JC members, said, "Do not ask your country eh, what your country has done for you. They ask what you can do for them. It's the same." I keep telling, uh, especially the professionals, those who are blessed to have a job, you know, they only focus on their job and their family. And they, are, they don't do anything about their community. It's a pity. <laughs> if you have been very involved in association, JCI, IESA, the returnee, you know, it's, 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 I was amazed and impressed by you to see it. <laughs> your money. I, I, I know this because I've had a conversation with your husband, you know, where, where you put even the asset of your family, to do something about it. What is that lady getting from the returning? Nothing. I remember when, uh, as a patron, going through people, I'm like, this lady is crazy. We can't spend all this money. I'm like, she's not normal. But again, <laughs> this involvement in the community. It's a barometer of success. So, so nobody wants to find your passion. Of Miranda, there's nobody. Exactly. You can be an engineer in Germany. Then what? And then what? Just an engineer is not that exciting. Yes, there. You are it just an engineer. Nice to okay, you join with your husband and your son. Exactly. That's all. Exactly. But Spend the all the money. Can you imagine the impact? And that's what they will remember. You know, when we I die, think... we have three people making a speech. Now we're even COVID 19, we don't have time for speeches. <laughs> they just bury you. But in the normal death, you have to take a category of people who speak. <laughs> you have a friend who will speak, you have a colleague who will speak. And you have a family member who will speak. So those are the places where you have to create an impact. And the last is our spirituality. <laughs> the world now is down. People have to return to what gives meaning and purpose to life, to what is essential. First in first, it's God. I'm sorry to say this. <laughs> so oh, now we have, have to go back to the <laughs> We have to and go back. You can be powerful. Now the world is stopped. World leaders need to go on their knees True. Sure. pray. Sure. So those sure. are the five barometers, uh, Miranda. Uh, it's, it's more developed in the book, I hope. And that's, <laughs> oh, you know, I didn't talk about uh, material wealth. <laughs> if, if those five barometers are well balanced, well managed, you are going to be successful. And most important, you are going to be a fulfilled person. Life is not just right. about material. It's not just about, about money. It's not about, about fame. It's not just about, uh, yeah, they can find the book on Amazon. It is, it is in French and English. And uh, by next month, the Spanish version will be also available. Oh, the Spanish version. Great, great. So the impact yes, of one, ladies and gentlemen, try to get a copy as soon as possible. There are so many valuable lessons in there. I personally have it with me. Right. I always mark the pages, go through the pages. I read over and over because there are always there's always something new, which I think I didn't see the first time or the second time or the third time. So you see, 
I will have my bold marker with me, read through on the line and keep speech and come back to it. So buy the book and then meet us on the 18th of December in Douala because we're going to be having a corner for writers. Cameroonian authors can present their books there. And again, coming to what we gain when we do as the Returnees Project, tomorrow we will be looking at this young lady, Taneka Durant, who runs the Quality Healthcare Clinic in Cameroon. And she won the Returnees Cash Prize last December. And when she tells us tomorrow about the number of lives she has impacted as a result of the returnees impacting her own life, that is the satisfaction we get from following a passion. So tune in again tomorrow, 7 p.m., where you can watch Tanika Durant tell us about the quality healthcare clinic before the COVID-19, during and after the crisis, what she plans to do. She's the returnees cash prize winner. And of course, we've told you to get a copy of the impact of one, the book which Roland Kwemen wrote, and which I believe is that manual which should be used as a guideline. I'll go on to something else before I wrap up this interview. I was listening to an audio book which struck me. Something was said in it which I had never heard written anywhere. Maybe I'll pull your mind to this a little bit. Napoleon Hill in his audio book, Outwitting the Devil, says the devil uses six fears to paralyze people. The fear of poverty, criticism, old age, ill health, loss of love and death. Have you any of these fears, RK? Yes, I have to be honest. It will be the fear of ill health. Okay. Health. Poverty, I thank God, uh, uh, my parents uh, gave us an education where my relationship with the material world is really, I'm not very attached to material. I'm not poor, but I'm not also like... Uh, yeah, but uh, criticism, I think uh, it's, it's important. Leaders uh, should not, shouldn't be afraid. You know, if you want to, to be an impact leader, there are two types of people you should avoid around you. Uh, what I call your friend, the griot, the courtesan. Griot are those who sing your praise day and night. And courtesan are those who expect certain, something from you. So they can't really say the truth. So weak leaders don't accept criticism. Criticism is like uh, sun. And, uh, and rain. You need mm -hmm. the two, eh? the, to water, but also exactly. to make it shine. shine. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm not afraid of uh, old age. You know, I'm 49. I really hope to be 50 and to be more. <laughs> uh, it's God. So uh, we age with grace. I, I don't, uh, the loss of love, I, I think the first person I think uh, that I, I admire is God, and God is love. So if I have God with me, I don't think uh, I, I should be afraid. Yeah, and also those who are, are, are afraid of losing losing love is because they are selfish. If you give, there's more pleasure to give than to That's receive. And in giving, you will receive. Uh, the death, death, everybody will die. So why should you be afraid? So I, I will stick more on the, the ill because as a child, I, I had really big, big heart issues. I was too sick. I, I wrote it in a book. I think I, it's a miracle for me to, eat, to be here speaking to you. Uh, mm -hmm. Till the age of 21, things were not uh, almost every week. I was in the hospital. I, oh, yeah. I was really sick. So I, I know uh, that herb is grow is, is gold. If you have herb, mm -hmm. you are you are rich. So we, should, mm -hmm. uh, we can see with COVID-19, it is an is is a disease that has put the earth down. It's not a weapon. It's not an atomic bomb. It's not a nuclear. So you can see the, the how important and crucial. Uh, when I see people are not grateful, they are not thankful. Uh, if you are healthy, thank God. I think uh, I have okay. to, to say that's where my fear uh, is because if we are uh, we are sick, things are. We have been having our daughter who was really down, and we know what you know hurt. So I. I I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> How you can value health. So, okay, with that, I'll just conclude that your health is your wealth, right? Yes. Health is true wealth. So your health is your wealth. And of all these fears, watch out not to get too involved in them. We'll be going to wrap up this interview now. But before we wrap up, we would like to have a word of greeting. Anyone out there you want to say hello to at this moment? Uh, I think I've been seeing some of them. Uh, maybe a, a hello to your team, to the returning team. Uh, kudos, good job, and uh, hello to the Go Ahead uh, Africa team and to the foundation team, uh, and hello to all the diaspora. I think uh, we need we need you guys, and uh, I, and that's why I, I'm I'm supporting uh, Miranda Initiative. There's no way Africa 
can emerge without the diaspora. We need you. There might be some misunderstanding with the government, but it's just uh, really misunderstanding. Sooner or later, we need, or we have seen with this crisis, what you guys are doing worldwide, the medical team, I'm seeing Kimonians all over, Africans all over. We are so proud of you. And please don't forget your roots. Great, great, great. So with that, you've said it, but with need now, with the mo world going through this, I wouldn't ask you your favorite song because I know you like Magasco. Hello. I think the connection yeah. is having some challenge. I was saying that I would ask you your favorite song because I know you like Magasco from watching all of your videos. Yes. Yes. <laughs> so I'm preparing the song for you at the end, and I'll just give you two minutes, three minutes to give your special message to the world as the world is facing this unprecedented, you know, crisis okay, and we're you. all having the lockdown. Thank you, Miranda. So, uh, dear friends, uh, I would like to conclude uh, our rich and inspiring conversation by first thanking uh, Miranda and team. As I said, uh, it was really a pleasure, but also by sharing with you the importance of the letter P. I knew about this letter when uh, our daughter Diana came back from school. Uh, she was in school at that was time and told me, Daddy, uh, out of the 20, I think six letters of the alphabet, what is your favorite? So I was like, mm. then I asked her, what's yours? She said P. P, you know, she's princess. So uh, when she said P, I thought about the princess. The that was not what she was trying to, to, to do my okay. attention. So, and I think... Uh, as two active citizens, uh, I will, uh, uh, I will, I will want us to focus on P mm -hmm. because uh, we are essentially solution providers. You know, providers. For that, we must be very perceptive uh, by increasing our ability to identify hidden opportunities, uh, income, and also hidden talent. It will be practically impossible for the world to emerge the post COVID COVID nineteen. If the current leadership, when I talk about leadership, both the corporate, the political, and even the civil society, if we don't fully involve women and uh, young people, eh, not only women, but uh, also young people in the management of public affairs, and also by empowering, above all, by protecting this uh, this target population. The perfect example is my mother. I know I have I really prepared this right up. The perfect example is my mother, who never went to college, but remains one of the greatest leaders I've ever met. She has the ability to, uh, to identify the, the danger, the opportunities, also to detect people's intention and anticipate. The truth is all those talents are essential, essentially given by God to women more. And that's why maybe I'm supporting Miranda. Now, as a police investigator, and I, yeah, I want to pay homage to my late father who was police instructor, as I was saying, as a police investigator who successfully solved a crime by detecting an indication that others have overlooked, we must keep in mind that the secret of great and impactful achievement can be found in the details. So let's make little things big. And I want, and that's why we took all our time to do this program. Thanks very much again for hosting me. And a congratulations for your active participation for all those who are connected. Feel free again, as I said, to order your copy of the book on Amazon, The Impact of One. It's in, available in French and English version. I wish now to everyone a perceptive week. And as leaders, we shouldn't forget leaders are learners. If we stop learning, we stop impacting. We have a whole world to be. Stay safe stay home, but most importantly, stay blessed. Thank you so, so much, RK. A perfect message. And of course, when you bring your mother in, it's very, very sensitive for us because we know the important roles of mothers in our lives. So thank you so much for that very, very powerful message. I actually kept your favorite song for the end so that when we wrap up, the gratitude you extend to us is what we extend to you to find time talking to us today. So um, you extend our love to your family. I will. And extend our love also to your team. Thanks. So thank you for listening to, let me know if you can hear the song. I hope so. Is that the right song? 
I can't get the sound. Just a second. Okay, just a second. Uh -oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> the Babenda boy. <laughs> Bagasco, a great guy. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Bagasco. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's a good one. Magasco, a good guy, yeah. Uh, it's in my fun days. Thank you so, so much, Miranda. Thank you. Because I remember I've seen this in, in your videos. <laughs> yes. Uh, and uh, I also love the power. You know, the, 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 you have, you have Magasco, Magasco, you have uh, a tenor, you have... Uh, uh, the great guy also who is very cool. There's a group of five. They they they, they, they did something uh, uh, on local, local. Oh, okay. So they we have a power, power. power. Yes, that one always is awesome. use a lot. Let me see yes. if I can find I, I, I use, power. I use power a lot uh, in my trainings. That's the opening of the impact of. I oh, use power okay. a lot because uh, the, the title is very powerful. But behind the fact that the five talent came together to sing. I, right. I think we should focus on what unites us than what divides us. And uh, uh, as I said, alone you go fast, but together we go far. We so go we should faster. encourage uh, uh, artists, talents. Uh, we should encourage collaboration mm -hmm. and not competition. And that's why I also mentioned. Again, thanks for the selection. Uh, I love uh, the, 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 the music. I, uh, I can see messages uh, coming from Monica. Yes, she says thank, thank you, Dr. Roland, for this amazing insight. We share the team building and strength. I have learned something. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, you for the team. Great, great. And then for the Spanish copy of the book, yes, the book is in English, French, and Spanish as well. So, Lord, no, the Spanish will be ready. No, Spanish, Spanish we'll in one month. Up. In one month, but, yes. So, yes, English and French are ready. Yes, Spanish but we have up. French and English on Amazon. They can okay. have both physical and also the the, the digital, so the, the digital, copy. the e copy. The e -copy. All right, Thank that's you. great, that's great. And then there is Peshen Satanga who sends hello from Germany. She was, she was confirming what you said when you talk about. She say yes, we're the bridge, right? We're the bridge between diaspora and Africa as well. So thank you so no, much, Thank you all, Candem. Thank you everyone who tuned in. I can't remember all the names. Thank you so much, RK. Regards to your family. I'll go meet mine you. now. <laughs> thank you. Stay blessed. You too. Bye. Bye. So tomorrow, 7 p.m., no, right, 5 p.m., we'll be having an interview tomorrow at 5 p.m. with Dr. Bianda Pabdo, and at 7 p.m., we'll be having the Young Tanika Durans, winner of the Returnees Entrepreneur, Young Entrepreneur Cash Prize. So tomorrow, two interviews, one interview with Dr. Stefania Bianda Pabdo at 5 p.m. and another P interview at 7 p.m. So that is 4 p.m. in Cameroon and 6 p.m. in Cameroon. Two interviews tomorrow. Thank you, uh, Patience Gweka Atanga, a force to reckon with. I have an amazing team working, like I always say, behind the scenes to ensure that we have a powerful time here every evening. I want to say thank you to my team, say thank you to everyone. Thank you to my family as well for supporting me through all this. And I say hello to everyone. Stay healthy, stay safe, and I'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. My name is Miranda Oben, as you already know, and I look forward to having you all back tomorrow. Thank you so much. Thank you, Jean Calvin. Thank you all.